In this session, we're going to talk about the Menus menu. Let's start off with the Menu Manager. This is the area that allows us to control and maintain all of the menus on our Joomla site. You'll notice that as we install the sample data, it installed six menus for us already. We're going to just concentrate on a few things, but let me remind you first off of a couple of things. Always remember to use the buttons up here. We've talked about that once, but let me just highlight it again. With these buttons, I can copy, delete, edit or create new menus just by clicking in the menu I want and saying copy, delete, or edit. I can do the same thing over here by clicking on this icon here and it takes me into the actual menu items. The navigation buttons in Joomla are context sensitive. Notice now I've got a whole bunch of new ones. I can go back to my main menu screen, select a default menu which every Joomla site needs, publish or unpublish, move or copy or trash, edit and create new menus with those icons. In the menu manager, it tells me how many menus I have published, how many are unpublished or in the trash, and every menu has its own module. We're going to look at this a little bit later on, just as a brief introduction. Placement of items on your Joomla site is basically dependent on two things, your template and your modules. Your template calls the module positions that items have been assigned to. So for instance, our main menu has a module called mod underscore main menu, as do all of them but it's been assigned to the left position, which is this position right here. And we'll spend a lot of time talking about that in later sessions. For now, let's go back to our menu manager and take a look at our main menu items. In our main menu, we have nine items and one is a default. In Joomla, there must always be a default menu and it cannot be deleted. It can only be reassigned. So if I try and delete this menu, it's going to tell me you cannot trash the default menu item. And the default menu is almost always your home page. Let me encourage you to leave it that way. If I click on this menu, it allows me to edit the menu and change the options that I've assigned. So let's briefly look at these and then we'll look at them more in depth as we create new menu items in just a moment. First, the title and then the alias. The title is what people will see. The alias is what Joomla assigns to it. Usually when I create a new article, or a new menu, I let Joomla assign the alias for me and it keeps Joomla happy. This is the link based on the type of menu that I've chosen. Which menu is this in? It's in the main menu. Is it a, is it a parent item, i.e. is it the top item? Or is it a child item of another menu? Is it published? What's the order of this menu? I can change that and move it down there. Who can look at this menu? Can everybody? Therefore it would be public. Can only logged in users see this menu? Therefore, I'd make it registered. Or can only admin see this menu? Then I'd leave it as special. When I click on this menu item, does it open in its own window? A new window with browser navigation or a new window without browser navigation? Let me encourage you, if your link is staying on your site, then leave it as a parent window. If it's going off your site to another one, then I'd encourage you to open in a new window with browser navigation. That way, when they close that window, your site is still there. Under the basic parameters, I have one article leading in this front page blog layout. In other words, the entire article will appear. I have four articles that just show the intro. I have those articles laid out in two columns. I'm going to just change this to one just to show you how this works. And how many links appear to other articles at the bottom of the blog. Under advanced parameters, this is where I can choose the order of how things appear. And we'll look at that in just a moment. Component parameters allow us to change a lot of things here. We'll look at that in just a moment as well. And then system parameters gives it a page title and do I show the page title. This has been a source of frustration for me, I have to tell you. When you set up a Joomla site, welcome to the front page is always there. When you put in your own content, welcome to the front page is still there. It's crazy that it's in this area, but this is how you change it. Take the page title out and just say, no, I don't want to show, show the title. So if I click Save, now I come over to my front page and click Home, notice now that a number of things have changed. No longer do I have Welcome to the Front Page, and my articles are now in one column layout instead of two column layout. And Home is now reordered down at the bottom of the list. Never a good thing, so let's go fix that. In my menu manager, I have three ways of reordering menus. One, we just saw, if I go into the menu itself and change the order in there and click Save, it will change it. 
or I can click on these up arrows and it will eventually move it up. Now if I'm moving a menu a long distance like that, that's going to be a hard thing to do. So generally what I'll do is I'll just come in and change the order of these. Now this one here is fine because it's a child of Joomla Overview which is now number two. This is number three, four, five, six, seven, one, and eight of course I can leave the way it is and then I just click the save order button there and notice those are reordered. If I come back over, hit refresh, my menu is back the way it should be. I can delete menus, I can publish, unpublish, move, copy, or trash a menu by clicking in the checkbox and selecting the item I want. If I want to unpublish it, I can just click there and now notice there's a little red X and that menu item no longer appears on my menu. To publish it again I can do the same thing in reverse or I can just click on that red circle and it's now published again. When you send something to the trash, either an article or a menu, it doesn't actually disappear. Both menus and articles have a trash bin, which is a good thing to empty every once in a while, but in this case, I want to restore it. I can select it, hit restore, click restore, say yes. They really want to make sure that you want to do this. Go back over to my menu manager and news feeds has been restored but unpublished. And notice the order is wrong. So I can publish it, change the order, click save, and we're back to where we were. That's the menu manager.